Hi guys, today I will be sharing how to make milky cheesy donut. Now this is one packet of yeast which is 7 to 8 grams. 2 thirds cup of milk, 60 grams of melted butter, 1 fourth cup plus 1 tablespoon of sugar, 1 teaspoon of salt, 3 and a half cups of bread flour, and 2 thirds cup of warm milk. Add 1 tablespoon of sugar into the warm water. Give it a mix. For this, we're going to add 1 packet of yeast, which is 7 to 8 grams. Make sure that your water is warm, not too hot, or else it will kill your yeast. Let it rest for 5 to 10 minutes until the yeast is bubbly, just like this. Now, we're ready to make the bread. I'm using a stand mixer, but if you don't have a stand mixer, you can use your hands to knead the dough. So combine the milk, the melted butter, the yeast mixture, add the sugar as well. Combine the bread flour and the salt, give it a mix, and then add the flour into the yeast mixture. Add half of the bread flour and then start medium speed. Once the flour is absorbed by the liquid ingredients, you can add the rest of the flour. Once the flour is all in, continue kneading this for 7 to 10 minutes or until the dough is smooth and elastic. Just like this. I need this for about 8 minutes. Now I have a bowl with a little bit of oil on it. Form the dough into a ball and then roll this into the oil. Cover the dough with cling wrap and let it rest in a warm spot for at least one hour or until it doubles in size. So while our dough is resting, we're going to prepare the other ingredients. So I have cheddar cheese in here. I'm going to cut the cheese lengthwise, not too thin but not too thick as well. So in a slice of um, cheese, cut it into four pieces. And now I have one cup of powdered milk and one cup of sifted icing sugar. Combine the two ingredients together and mix well. Once everything is well combined, we will set this aside. So our dough has doubled in size. We're now going to divide the dough um, 60 grams each. Or you can do bigger than 60 grams, it's up to you. So now it's time to form the dough into small balls. So tuck the ends of the dough under and then roll it against your work surface to form the ball. So do this process to the rest of the dough. And this is what they look like. Now we'll cover this with cling wrap while we're working with putting the cheese inside the dough. So to do that, we're going to grab one dough, then make an indentation in the center, put the cheese in the middle, and press the dough together to seal the cheese. Then, to make sure that the cheese is well sealed, roll the dough against your work surface. Then, put this on a tray lined with parchment paper. So, continue doing the same process until you finish up with all the dough. With this recipe, I made about 17 
milky cheesy donuts. And this is what they look like now we're going to cover this with cling wrap again and we're going to let this rest in a warm spot for about 35 to 45 minutes or until our dough doubles in size so now I have about two to three cups of oil in here we're going to deep fry our donuts so once the you reach the right temperature of the oil Fry the donuts until they are golden brown. This doesn't take long, so you should keep an eye on this. Once the other side is golden brown, flip the donuts. And make sure to drain the excess oil, so use a strainer. Let it sit in the strainer for about 2 minutes. And then fry the next batch. We are now ready to roll the donuts into the milk sugar mixture. Just make sure that the donuts is not too hot or else it will just melt the sugar and the cheese. So roll the donuts into the milk and sugar mixture. You will have excess um, milk and sugar but that's okay again the sugar is icing sugar and full cream powdered milk you can use any brand and this is the finished product this is so good I can guarantee that you're going to love this it's so addicting and just to show you what it looks like inside when you cut the donuts in half you can see the cheese is very soft and it's very light and airy so please do give this a try it's so easy to make and if you have time can you please follow me on my facebook page my sweet ambitions i answer all your questions in there very quickly thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again next week bye